And moving on to education, all public schools in Kern County have been recommended to close for four weeks beginning this Wednesday. 17's Karen Hua spoke with the superintendent today about what this will mean for you and your family. Well, as large school districts across the state all closed, some wondered what took the Kern County Superintendent of Schools so long to follow suit. But KCSOS says it was a complicated decision. 24 out of 25 of the largest districts in the state of California have already shut down. Uh, the one remaining uh, in that group is Kern uh, High School District. Called out by the governor, the Kern County Superintendent of Schools will now close 47 districts for four weeks until April 14th. We delayed taking this action as long as possible because we serve a different population here in Kern County. 73% of our children are eligible for free meals. 30% of the children in Kern County live in poverty. Very few of these children have access to the devices that would be needed for distance learning. Very few of them have internet connectivity to allow them to conduct distance learning. Impacted are 190,000 students. For kids who need meals, the same program that offers them food over the summer is now extended to districts through June 30th. We'd really like to see more of a grab and go, so people actually come up and we'd love to just be able to put that right there into the vehicle and they don't even have to get out. KCSOS also has been working with state and local suppliers to get computers for students who don't have them. We anticipate or we expect that there are approximately 40% of children within Kern County that either do not have a device or do not have connectivity. Research has shown us that when we have our summer breaks during school, that on average our students lose about a month's worth of learning. We're wanting to collectively try to combat that as much as that learning loss as much as possible. Their plan, for the first two weeks, kids will get paper packets for math and language arts. After that, when internet and devices have been settled, schools will use the digital learning site Canvas. It can be, again, as simple as students being able to log on and get free resources, free interactive programs that are online, um, or it can be as um, customized as a teacher saying, students come and meet with me today from 10 to 12, and we're going to go over this lesson. As for teachers, each district is making their own plans with unions. Currently, our employees are expected to continue to return to work, to their, their normal work site during their normal work hours, and uh, we do still have a lot of essential job duties to be performed. But those over 65 or with chronic health conditions are allowed to work from home or be on paid leave. So what happens come April 14th? We are taking this on a hour by hour, day by day basis, but it, there is a potential that the school year may need to be extended. Now, if you have any questions about your specific school district, you can find updates at alertline.kern.org. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News.